So I had posted a video where I talked about advice that I would give a young woman. And the advice that I gave was that they should not have a child with a baby daddy NPC. I described that as a man who is not willing to marry her, a man who does not want to play a part in raising the child with her, just somebody that's just making children with, with, with random women. And I got a lot of really angry comments from men. And it kills me that it was a lot of black men. I don't know if it was any men that weren't black men who were making angry comments. And the thing that bothers me about this is that I'm trying to give women advice, young women advice on how to live the best, most conscientious life what to avoid and ways to reach self-actualization without making mistakes that will be detrimental to themselves and to other people. And almost every single time I try to give advice to young women that nearly everybody would agree is good advice, it is always, always, always black men who have something negative to say, even when they are not, especially when they are not centered in the conversation whatsoever. I told women to avoid baby daddy NPCs. There's a saying in the black community, a hit dog is gonna holler. And it is incredibly disappointing. Every single time that, that any time I mention to young women to not have irresponsible sex with an irresponsible man. Black men are always the hit dog. You would think, you would think, you would think that black men would want to escape the allegations of creating broken homes. You would think that black men would cheer on that message. The message of, yes, young ladies, do not have children with men who have no interest in marrying you. You would think that black men would love that message, considering there's only seven black men who's impregnating all these young women without marrying them. There's only seven of these guys. So the overwhelming majority of black men should love my message that I'm giving to young women to avoid procreating with men who have no interest in being good fathers or husbands to them, to, to them and their children. I, I rarely ever target black men when I do my videos. For the most part, I, I really try to keep it generic and just talk about men and women and that kind of thing. But I can't say anything to anyone that's positive in terms of being in control of your life and trying to make good choices and and taking accountability for how you move through the world without black men interrupting the message and talking about well what about women what about women what about women i'm literally talking to women about what we could do better or what we should be doing better that's what i'm doing and here y'all come on every single post with something negative to say every single time. Women cheat and women are terrible and women, okay, do your own video where you lecture women about that. Here on my platform, I am talking to young women and giving them advice that I wish somebody had given me or advice that somebody did give me that perhaps I didn't listen to or, or advice that my friends should have taken, my family should have taken, advice that, you know, it's just being kind to the younger generation and giving them wisdom. I'm telling them to not procreate without getting married first. Think about their future before bringing a child in the world. How, how is this anything to be mad about? Black men specifically, I, I would love to know. It is so disappointing. And, and it, it's, it's, it's stereotypical, it's statistical, it's, it's every bad rap 
that black you would think black men are trying to be at this point it's indefensible i'm i'm embarrassed that i'm telling young women to make better choices when it comes to the kind of men that they're choosing to procreate with and black men take that offensively i just i don't know man i don't know i don't know sometimes i want to do more content where i talk to black men but i'm afraid that i will be murdered i'm afraid that if I were to try to be encouraging to black men, that I would put myself and my family at risk. I'm, I'm scared enough, to be honest, when I give positive advice to young women that something bad is gonna happen, that black men are specifically are gonna be offended and I'm going to be in danger because I'm telling black women to make better choices to choose better and it's somehow offensive to black men because i mean I, and, and maybe i'll just say the quiet part out loud here many of you automatically think you're a bad choice and anything that you believe you're absolutely right but yeah um sometimes you know i would love to be able to to talk to black men and and encourage and say some things that you know what i mean tough love or whatever you want to call it. not really even tough to, for, to be honest but sometimes i just want to be honest i just want to tell the truth to black men because sometimes it's just like having a friend that has a boogie in their nose and you want to hey you got a little something you know what i mean people tell me all the time when i do my videos like you you had a little something you know what i mean sometimes i want to be able to do that but i don't feel comfortable enough i i i've said it before black men have never been a safe space for me and that has always been something extremely regrettable to me. It's, it's always been sad to me. It's always been particularly um, sad to me because what I'm seeing and like what it means to me is that there is no, there's no improving. There's it, like that, that's not gonna happen. Telling women to choose better when it comes to not having kids out of wedlock means that I am speaking against black men. That's that's what I'm being told when I when I post videos talking to young women and trying to give good advice about choosing better. That is what I'm hearing. It is it's very sad. It's sad um to know that that's what some black men here i guess the seven bad black men in the world who are impregnating everybody don't want me to get that message out